Hey guys, welcome back. I have a little video here for OBS. I've been I've been had a bunch of messages about what recording software I use and settings and all that stuff. And instead of answering each person individually, I decided I'd just make a video for it for the channel in case anyone wanted to know about it. Uh, basically, I use OBS, Audacity, Sony Vegas Pro 14, and uh, Panzera, uh, free audio extractor. Basically, these four programs allow me to make a YouTube video. I use OBS to record my content. I use the audio extractor to take the audio from the MP4 recording, which allows me to convert it into a WAV file. Uh, then I take that WAV file and put it in Audacity to clean it up a bit. And then, of course, then I take both the MP4 file and the audio and stick it into Sony Vegas to then edit it and play with it however I want, and then render it out. I will not be doing in this video, though, a tutorial on Audacity, Vegas, or the audio extractor. I will just be doing a tutorial on OBS. Uh, because I am recording on my desktop right now, uh, some of these settings I will not be able to change uh, myself to show you, but it's pretty simple. Uh, OBS is not overly complicated, it's just uh, kind of a little bit of a learning curve. So, basically, these are my 1920 by 1080 60 FPS recording settings, and I use both of them for desktop and gaming recordings. There's about maybe two things that I change uh, when I do re recording for desktop instead of uh, gaming and I will show you guys those. So if you want to record your desktop, okay for starters, come down here to the bottom, hit plus, make a scene, title it desktop recording or whatever it is, and then over here in your sources, uh, hit plus and then you'll get the option to hit display capture. Display capture is going to then target your main monitor. If you run only one, it'll target that. If you run multiple, make sure you pick the one you want to be recording on. Um, and then you know, hit OK. Now for game recordings, you're going to want to hit the plus sign here, make a new scene, title it game recording, and then come over here and hit plus, and then hit the game capture. When you hit game capture, uh, that option is going to then target any full screen application that you launch. So Overwatch, whatever, uh, Fortnite, any other games that you play. Um, once it's targeted, it'll be able to then re be recorded, but it will not target your desktop or any other options. So, um, what we're going to do now is we're going to talk about the settings, the actual settings that make your recordings work. And what you want to do is you want to come over here uh, underneath studio mode and then hit settings. Now, I'm going to tell you the differences between my desktop and my game recordings and they're not very much they're actually pretty close so what we're gonna do here is go to the advanced tab quickly um, in the video section up here it's grayed out because I can't change it because I'm recording right now but you want the renderer to be on direct 3d 11 you want the color format to be on NV12 and you also want the uh, YUV color space and color range to be on 709 and partial uh, there is an issue with these settings, with the color range and space. Uh, they do potentially make your videos darker. Uh, if you have this set, the color range set to full, and your videos are dark, uh, like blacks or pitch black, that kind of stuff, and it looks weird when you're uh, on your recording. Uh, not your preview recording, your actual file, your MP4 that you you know pop out. If it's really dark when you hit play, uh, change this to partial. If it's still dark, change this to the 609 option and still put it on partial. If it still continues to be dark for no reason, like really, really dark, uh, come down here to your options and source and your game capture, hit properties. You right click and hit properties. If for some reason your game capture has allow transparency clicked, uh, that will cause your video to be dark as well. So make sure it's unchecked. Okay. Now we'll go back into settings and we'll go back down to the advanced tab. But basically your 709 and your partial is going to be your best bet to have a, a you know a bright normal colored recording. Audio, recording, uh, stream delay, automatic 
reconnect. Just ignore all this. There's no reason for you to, to know about it. Hotkeys are pretty self-explanatory. Okay, you basically the, the two things you want to know about are setting a keybind for your streaming and start and stop streaming and then start and stop recording. Okay, F11 is a horrible keybind. Uh, for me, <laughs> it actually full screens my uh, windows, so I'm gonna change that later. But yeah, anyways. Uh, your next option here is your video settings. If you have a 1920 by 1080 monitor, make sure your canvas base matches to that resolution. Then you have your two other options. Okay. If you're going to record at 1080p, make sure your output scale is set to 1080p. If you are recording at 720p because your computer can't handle 1920, uh, 1820, ugh, 1080, um, change it to the 1280 by 720. Okay, here in the output section. Your downscale filter, I suggest keeping it at 32, but if you're having uh, processing issues or lag, change it to, th to 16, okay? Uh, FPS values, obviously, if you're on YouTube, you know 30 FPS is eh, 60 FP FPS is the must, okay? If you're recording though desktop recordings and uh, tutorials, if you're playing Minecraft or something, you know, not really stress, stress heavy, 30 FPS can get you by. But if you're playing Overwatch, CSGO, you know, high FPS games, uh, first person shooters and stuff like that, and you are running at 30 FPS, you're doing it wrong <laughs> and people will notice it. So make sure it's set to as high as you can have it and what you're using it for. So I have mine set to 60 FPS. I'm running Windows 7 because I'm stuck in the dark ages and I like Windows 7. I don't have Windows 8 or 10. Uh, I, I believe they need a lot more work. So I, don't, I haven't upgraded yet. Um, basically, disabling arrow gives a performance boost for me on desktop recordings, um, and I have yet to really notice an, an effect on in-game recordings. So, um, play with this if you have arrow or seven. You can disable it or enable it and see if you get better performance in your recordings. I can't really tell you if it's a yes and a no kind of thing. Audio, it's all personal preference. Pretty much keep your channels on stereo. Disable any extra audio devices that you have if you're not using it your speakers and your mic recording mic keep those on uh, To change your sample rate or to know what you have it at come down here if you're on seven go to your recording devices Go to your microphone and hit properties and then go to the advanced tab. And it'll tell you what your microphones uh, Hertz is at so keep it at 48 match it there uh, But again, this is a personal preference kind of stuff. Each person's audio setup is completely different, but those are my settings. Then we're going to come to the output section. Uh, if you don't have it set to advanced, you should have standard right here. Uh, click on it and hit it to advanced. You'll see these four tabs pop up. I don't know enough about uh, streaming with OBS to give a tutorial on it, so I'm going to skip that. Uh, the recording software or section is going to be pretty simple for both desktop recording and um, in-game recording, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your recording, or your type set to standard, your recording path set to wherever your video is going to be recorded out to. You know, I would suggest putting it on a large empty uh, hard drive so you don't run out of space. Depending on what you're recording, it can, it can end up to be 20 to 30 gigs, okay? Um, then down here, keep the generate file name without space, keep that unchecked. You want to set this to, I believe it's FLV default, change it to MP4. You're going to save yourself a ton of headaches when you load it into a recording or editing software later down the road. A one audio track and the encoder I'm using is the X264. The in, uh, NVIDIA's 900 series and 1000 series cards have their own encoder, I guess with their drivers. I do not know the settings for those, but if you do have a higher setting or a higher card, the 900 series or the 10 or the 1000 series cards, you may want to look into those encoders and see what you can get out of those. But this is going to be an X264 uh, settings. Uh, when we were down here in our video settings uh, for the resample output, we changed, uh, I have mine set to 1080p. 
if you want to change this to 720, make sure there's set to 720 here. But if you're in your outputs and recording section and you're down here in your rescale output section and this is not checked, by default you will record to 1080p. Okay, so make sure this is checked if you're rescaling down like the 720. Now to the, the meat of the settings for OBS. And this is going to be here, uh, the, con the con rate control is a CBR, which is constant bit rate. Okay. For desktop recording, like I'm doing now, I have it set to 3500 bit rate, which is more than enough for uh, any kind of desktop tutorial. And it gives me pretty you know, clear, crisp videos. I do not have a custom buffer size. The key interval, or keyframe interval set to zero. I don't change that ever. Uh, your two biggest things here are going to be your CPU usage and your tune. Uh, CPU usage, the higher it is, the less CPU, CPU you're using, so the better performance. Um, I suggest you play with the first three here, uh, ultra fast, super fast, and very fast. Those are the, the main three you will probably want to play with as far as uh, performance. But I have it set to super fast, which is a medium setting for me. Uh, tune, zero latency is just a personal preference. I can't tell you why I'm using it or what it does. I just, I have it checked and my videos look great. So it's just a personal thing. If you're having problems, uh, I would change it to none. Now, I'm gonna talk about if you're having problems. Okay, The only way to tell if you're having a problem normally is if you're in game and your game is stuttering <laughs> because you're using too much processing power, too much CPU so, or, or something and it's stuttering and it's not working out. But sometimes the in-game play is fine and the recording will be stuttery. The best way to check this out is right here in the lower left hand corner underneath the scenes. Okay, You'll actually say uh, there'll, there'll be a yellow message that pops up kind of like this warning recording color right here. Uh, it'll be down here. It'll say encoder overwhelms or overloaded or something like that. And basically it's it's a performance hit. Your encoder can't handle the settings you have here underneath this section. So what you would want to do is you would want to then lower the speed. Ultra fast is the lowest you can go. So you want to lower the speed here and you want to turn off your tune completely. And then let's say you're recording your desktop and 3500 bitrate apparently is too much for your computer. Um, then I would just lower it by a, a factor of 500. So just, you know, you know, 3000 and then, you know, lower it a little bit. If you're anywhere in the 500 range to 1500 range, your video may start to become blurry and blotchy. So I would watch that. Uh, the biggest thing next is in-game recording. Okay. Now I use these same exact settings in my 60 FPS recording on in-games. So the only difference is that I change a few things. And this is pretty much it. I changed the bitrate right here uh, to 50,000. 50, now 50,000 seems like a lot, but keep it, uh, 50,000 is a max that you, you can have for recording on bit rates, or you should. Um, and then change this to either very fast or super fast or ultra fast, depending on uh, your computer. I'm gonna change it to super fast. And then of course I changed mine down here to zero latency, okay. Now these settings work for my computer. Okay, that's the biggest concept, or biggest issue I think we have, or people have when they go to YouTube or Google and they type in best settings for OBS, and some guy with a six thousand dollar rig says, with his brand new, you know, i7 and you know sixty four gigs of RAM and crazy motherboard and you know he's running dual ten eighties or whatever, you know, or Titans or something like that. You know, and he says, yes, these are the best settings I can do for YouTube recording at 60 FPS. Okay. They may not work or won't work on a $1,000 rig or computer, you know, setup. So to how to tune that, how to, how to find your happy place for your computer is going to be really simple with these settings. Come over here to the bitrate first off. Okay. And change this down and just lower it by factors of 5,000. Just go 4,500 or 45,000. Okay. And then hit apply and start a recording and see if it's laggy or if the quality is, is still high. You know, if you, if you hit a uh, 50,000, let's say you're at 50,000 
and you have super sample and zero latency on it. And then right down here in the bottom left hand corner, you get that overloaded or the encoder overloaded or overwhelmed um, error message. That means these settings, like I said, can't, they will not work uh, for your computer. So just little by little, bring down your bit rate and uh, see if you can actually get it to this message to go away with your recordings. Also, down here in the right hand corner, you'll see uh, CPU usage. Okay. If you are at 90% CPU usage when you're recording something, that means your computer is really, really bad <laughs> and or you have some setting that's messed up. But either way, don't be recording at 90% CPU usage uh, in a game. So I would suggest upgrading your rig at that point. But anywhere between 45 and 50% is a decent CPU range to play a game and to record with. 15% uh, I'm using is recording the desktop. It's super cheap for me to record a desktop. I have an i7-960 Bloomfield 1366 socket. It's an old, really old i7. But it is an i7, so... But either way, um, the... Like I said, the bitrate you want to play with that. Just lower it little by little until you find a happy medium. If for some reason the super fast option is still even at like you know, 25,000 bitrate, you're still getting that message. Uh, I would change it to ultra fast, bump this back up to 50, and then remove the tune, okay? Just do that, I would try that. And see if your videos come out clean, crisp, and 60 FPS, and stuff like that. Uh, basically, I think if you get anywhere between 15,000 and 12,000 bitrate, your videos are going to be really grainy. They're going to have a lot of grain to them. They're not going to be really sharp at all. So I would definitely look into, like I said, the upgrades um, for your computer. Your b best bet is a new video card. Um, maybe your cheapest option would probably be a new motherboard and CPU. And then your next option would be RAM and a graphics card. Uh, because recording requires a lot of uh, CPU power. So uh, basically... Those are my settings and those are ways that I tweak my recordings if the game isn't actually, if the recording software, the OBS, isn't working out too well, if the encoder is being overwhelmed, you know, so. But yeah, those are um, my 60 FPS, 1920 by 1080 uh, game recording settings for both uh, desktop and game, or in-game stuff. I hope this answered the questions that some people had. And uh, if you have any more, I'm by far no expert with OBS, but I know enough to get by. Just uh, comment in the uh, section below and let me know what you want to know. And I'll try to look it up myself or answer it and see if I can get to it. So, um, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.